What's up, everybody? Um, wanted to go over some juice today. There's uh, quite a bit that I've been testing out, actually, um, and I wanted to get you a good feel for it. Uh, the first thing that comes up, uh, E Lick Cube, E Lick Cube, standard size bottles, um, good lid, simple drain, you know, regular industry standard. Um, got these in the mail real quick. Um, it's E Lick Cube, and I'll put the link down there at the bottom. I got three flavors. Um, the first flavor is Pink Starburst, second's Frozen Tundra, and the third is Uber Goober. As you can see, these bottles are empty. Um, I vaped through them real quick. Um, not because they weren't set up right, it's just I liked them a lot. Uh, the pink starburst, spot on. Um, not much of a candy guy, but let's see, is it recording? Okay. Just had to make sure my camera broke um, the LCD, so I'm not sure if it's recording or not. I may have to do this a couple times, but uh, pink starburst. You're going to want to check this out. Uh, this pink starburst, just like the candy um, from the first to the last of the tank, it really held its flavor. Uh, don't see anything wrong with this one. Um, the bottles don't have a, yeah, they do actually. They have a batch date, an expiration date. It's good to know when your juice is made. Um, some of this other stuff, let's see if I can give you a good example. Uh, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, these three definitely worth checking out. Uh, Pink Starburst, good candy wise. Uh, Frozen Tundra, this is beyond menthol. They must have used a lot of menthol crystals in here because. Uh, it really comes out the nose menthol. It's good, I guess, if you have a cold or a cough. Um, but I ripped through it. I mean, empty. Emptied them out. Uh, the next one I'm talking about is Uber Goober. This is the flavor that I was seeking for a while. Um, Uber Goober was definitely up. I tasted this a long time ago, back, I think, March or so. Um, and I haven't had it since, but it's on the line of the monkey cream, nutty, vanilla kind of flavor. Um, that's my take on it, and this would be an all-day vape. Out of all three of those, the Pink Starburst, Frozen Tundra, and the Uber Goober, I'd say Uber Goober is top-notch. They're all different kinds, of course. This is candy, this is menthol, and this is just a breakfasty blend, but... Uh, Great company. Um, definitely, I'd pick some more of this Uber Goober up. Uh, moving on to Manic Vapor. Um, and I still, actually, I still have... No, these are empty as well. I went through a bunch of this. Um, I got about five bottles, okay? Um, this one's a Blueberry Sweet Tart. That was my favorite. And then Devil's Fruit. That was my second favorite. And, you know, I don't remember the other three names because the, the bottles ended up somewhere um, empty and thrown away. Usually I'm pretty good about saving stuff. Um, that being said, this Manic Vapor, um, they tell you where it is and when it expires and everything. They don't have a born on date, which is not a big deal, but they do list the ingredients in bigger detail. So if you're wondering what's in your e-juice, you know, this uh, ma uh, Maniac Vapor, excuse me, Maniac Vapor um, does list it and list the nicotine percentage, and they have it on the bottle. You can see, um, you know, standard standard industry bottles. Um, this is a little bit thicker, I would say, and I actually let this sit a lot in the the not the sun, but a warm area. I got a little heater that comes out of my uh, laptop and just kind of warms it up because it's a little bit thicker than what I was doing in. Um, wick style cardos now it's probably better for a drip you get that thicker um thicker uh, um, thicker dab on that on that wick but basically um, after a while it started to become a lot more viscous so at first i wasn't 100 percent on it i'll tell you the truth because it didn't really work with my cardos it was a little too thick and i was fighting it um i put it aside for a while a good week two weeks and after then it seemed to evolve or steep a little bit so i don't know if that had anything to play with my gear or anything it's just my experience with them but now i went through them and and it was going good um the flavor isn't too too heavy so if you're looking for something serious heavy flavor but I enjoyed it nevertheless I mean somebody took effort to make it and it wasn't the worst stuff I've had trust me I've had really bad stuff um, 
this stuff. So gross. It's like a powdered ice cream soda. Um, anyways, so that's the Maniac Vapor. Um, there was a couple more I had, but you know what? Um, I went I went through them. Um, decent though, decent. Better if you're dripping, and if you want to put them aside for a while. Um, let's get on to something else. Um, Flavor Z. You'll see a lot of these in maybe the discount bins. Um, it's just because they just don't sell, and they have a lot of flavors, and maybe just a, a little bit too many flavors. Um, the labels definitely, um, when they get wet, they get a little weird. Some of these are using stickers, like these are stickers. So you just, you gotta be careful, or, or not, it's up to you, of how you do it. Still recording? Good, okay. Oh, sorry, I did check. Um, but these, they, these flavors, these aren't bad. This one's the monkey butt, and, uh, I know, right? I'm trying to find that monkey cream, that uber goober, that nutty, nutty flavor. It, it's getting there of where I'm looking for. Um, the monkey butt. Flavor Z. They make other stuff as well. Um, for me, it has a, like a hint of alcohol. Um, and when I tried to vape it in a cardo that was previously used, um, it ended up leaking or I was getting kind of hot splashes of fluid in my mouth. So it's a little, a little different than what I'm used to. A lot of times this is a lot thicker. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm probably going to leave it open and uh, just squeeze out some of the air and leave it open for a while and put this aside. Um, I do like this. I like it a lot. It's just it's missing the mark by a little bit. So um, it definitely wants to be what it wants to be. But it's missing, I mean, it... it you can smell a little bit too much alcohol. So I might get the ultrasonic cleanser and have that just brrr, vibrate um, and maybe shake some of this together. I don't know. So that's that's that. That's the Flavor Z. Um, that was like a discount bin thing. Um, still, it needs some work, but I, I have faith. I mean, just they need to narrow down their their choices and, and focus on their, uh, their production. I didn't see a Born On Day. Did I? Actually, they do have a Born On date. So, um, Born On 3 of 2013. So maybe it's getting a little old, but the good news about things like these, they are sealed with a plastic around it, both the lids. So it makes you feel a little bit more safer as of who's getting into my juice. Um, the next thing I want to talk about, actually, is uh, this stuff. Black Label Belgium Breakfast. I uh, went up to Alaska in September, I have some other videos on here, and this black label Belgian breakfast is just, it reminds me of camping along the way, sitting at a bench, and I just vaped this when I was out there, and it just brings back some memories, some good memories, finally picked up some more, and it's the same quality juice standard, so uh, this is black label belgian breakfast and you might not see it around much but seek it out very very good um i'm out i go through juice i i really like and this smell just so amazing out of all my favorites this would be my top tippity top just brings back a lot of uh, memories from alaska and traveling um what's in here what's in here what's in here what's in here you ask well I'll tell you what's in here. What's in here is Epic Juice. Now, I'm not sure if you've heard them. EJ Epic Juice. Flavor I got is called Wake and Vape. Um, I would say it's like a mild coffee vanilla bean frappuccino latte type of morning blend but this is good between if i had more of this i'd be vaping this too but uh this right here the epic juice um i always get everything in six six is where i'm at started at 18 24 now i got some zero juices floating around but for the most part it's uh it's six flavor still there nicotine still in there and uh, i just day the vapor production on this wake and vape 
is real consistent. I've uh, been paying attention to Born On Dates. This one is actually um, December 3rd is when it started. So it's almost a month. So I think if juice sits for about a month, it just gets perfect. Um, so maybe start paying attention to those Born On Dates. Maybe you'll have a better experience with your taste. Um, obviously, you can... There's different ways to speed up the time uh, steeping process, but a lot of these things I didn't even worry about steeping. I just opened up, ready to go. Um, but this Epic Juice is really up there, so give them a shot. This is the Wake and Vape. That was the Black Label Belgian Breakfast. The uh, Flavor Z Monkey Butt. Uh, we got some Maniac Vapor Blueberry Sweet Tart and uh, the e-liquid cube the uber goober the uh pink starburst which is good for candy not much candy but that was good and then the frozen tundra a little mentholy chaser so um that's what i got uh one more thing not done yet i just got this in the mail today this in the mail today from uh, Steam Juice. They had a super sale. Um, but look at these jugs. I mean, what do you guys pay for something like this? Now, this is a 120 mil jug, 120 milliliters. So, um, and they even sent me a free bottle of their vanilla bean ice cream. And uh, the hardest part I had was selecting what to get. Um, I got them all in sixes, and the, the packaging is clean. These bottles are way clean. Um, Vanilla bean ice cream, VBIC. It's from steamjuice.us. Um, they had a super sale going on where I got these. They were like less than 25 bucks. So um, not sure how I want to go about it. Took some old juice jars. I still need to clean them with a little alcohol and just get them ready to where it's not going to uh, affect the flavor at all. Maybe some denatured uh, alcohol. Well, not denatured alcohol. Maybe some um, distilled water. I'm getting ahead of myself, but distilled water. Um, we got buttery nipple, vanilla custard with some strawberry shot. You can get add shots, different flavors. And then I went banana nut bread. I think I'm going to try the banana nut bread first. Um, I wanted to make sure I got some fresh Cardos, which uh, went over to my brick and mortar here. Uh, Vapor Solutions by Julie. It's close to me. Uh, picked up some uh, pre-punched uh, extra large... Um, what are they, 510XLs? But it's the low res. If you're going to get Cardos, get low res. So I'm going to, they look like this. I'll throw it in this tank. I just picked up another tank. If I'm going to try these out, I'm going to try them out and uh, I want to try them out right. You know, I don't want to pour some juice over it and test it. So everything I've tested, I've used uh, fresh Cardos, um, fresh tanks, clean, sterilized, everything just to get the right procedure. Um, but I can't wait to take a look at these in my jar. Um, they sound good. They all just smell really good. So what I'm going to do probably is set these in the, uh, the cleanser so it shakes it all, maybe mixes them up. Um, but that's about it. So I'm pretty heavy on juice lately. Just wanted to get a quick review and update. Um, hopefully your vaping experience has been as good as mine. I've been learning a lot, and uh, hopefully the juice recommendations will help you get through the day so um, take it easy happy vaping and enjoy